in the worst piece of news uh, this week, Signal has decided to ruin the experience for Android users oh, who use this as a single way of communicating with uh, people. So do you like having a single way of communicating with all the people in your life, whether or not they use the Signal platform? Signal doesn't like it. So if you're an Android user who currently uses one app to manage all of your communication, you can go screw yourself because they are going to be removing SMS capabilities from Signal and forcing you to download a second app and use it kind of back and forth. Um, Wait, a second app? What the hell? Yes. That's weird. So, Signal is no longer going to support sending SMS messages to contacts who don't have Signal. So you can either bully your friends into downloading a completely separate app to communicate with you, and then also expect them to open that app separately just for you in order to see if you've sent them a message. That's going to be the new reality. So currently, if you have some friends who are on Signal, some friends who are off Signal, the experience is you download the Signal app, you can communicate freely with the people who have Signal, and you get a little warning, but you can also communicate with people who don't have Signal. And that makes it a really good app for managing all of your uh, communication going through text um, because it's, it's quite frankly, uh, encrypted at rest as well. So your logs of all those communications are protected. Of course, it's not protected yeah. in transit if you're sending just a bare SMS, but nor would it be if you were to go and get a second app. So really the core argument here is when you have something that's designed to be usable by tons of people and it is a secure app, but it's also supposed to be convenient, is making it so it is so inconvenient that you you have a very low chance of convincing people who are not completely security minded and willing to disrupt their daily routine for, for like security reasons. Are you really going to be able to convince them to download a whole second app to manage all of this stuff that is separate from everybody else in the world who doesn't really care that much about security and uses regular SMS? My answer would be no. I don't think that that's a winning argument. And for me personally, I really, really hate this because it absolutely ruins the way that I communicate with people by forcing me to silo it into two different groups of people, people who have Signal and everybody else in the world. So if anybody from Signal is listening, um, can you not? Can you not do that? Because it is probably the worst way to convince people to use your messaging app. And frankly, like if it's impossible to message both people on Signal and off of Signal using it, there's no point really in having it as your main uh, method of communication. So Signal is basically relegating itself to second place for basically anybody who uses this on Android as their kind of one-stop shop for communication. And I think that that is taking it from being a very useful app that's easy to use, convenient, and still secure, you know, when you encourage people to use Signal uh, with you, and, and then making it so it just frankly does not work for the majority of people. You just cannot contact yeah. most people using Signal uh, via Android anymore. So I think this sucks. this absolutely sucks. My whole team, like all of us on this production, use Signal for communication, both for business and for mm -hmm. personal reasons. So um, all of us are going to be affected by this, and all of us universally hate it and do not think that this makes Signal any more secure. If you're really so concerned with SMS messages leaking, make a big red background and warn people, or even make a slider that allows people to disable this feature by choice. You can even make it the default if you want to. But refusing to allow people to send regular SMS messages from Signal is a dumb move. And I will continue saying that until they reverse the decision.